Okay, hi guys, I'm Maximus and today I'm going to show you how to add a, a product with multiple parts. Uh, just let's jump to it. Okay, this is our scene um, and uh, there is our product. So it's a uh, hairstyle with four parts. So how to add in your scene? Just select all of the product parts, all of them, and add it. So you can see it uh, have like four parts, the cell part, the scar, the stock part, and two other parts. So you select all of them, you drag in the scene like this, and that's it. So after that, you just need to you need to link in your carter. So to do it to do that you need to drag and drop in your carter like this and just look for the head ball. So you need to have like in your carter in your carter you need to have the uh, a skeleton. Without the skeleton it will be uh, it will be really difficult to link the hairstyle in your body part. So just let let's just look for the head ball, the head. That's it. The head bone is there. After that, you just keep all of them selected like this, and you just zero the location. Zero all of them. X, X, Y, Z. Zero, zero, and zero. There you can see to be much easier to put in your head so you need to you need to rotate it 180 degree okay and then let's just try to fit in the head. Let's see how he... Okay, now let's see. Okay. I think this is it, I think. Uh, I think this is it. Don't forget to select all of them. I did a mistake here. All of them and just yeah. So I think this is it. Uh, we fit it. It. Uh, it's done well. And there you can see. Uh, so how do you activate the animation? To do it, you need to be sure that your character is well set in the character ball. The physics need to be well set for the hair part, the head part. So you need to be sure that the head is well set. So what I, what I, what I, what I'm meaning when I said is what it, so you need to match the bone to the head. So mine is not well set. So I will just show you what you need to do. Just try to fit the bone to the head. Like that, and that, 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 okay.
just make sure that you sit everything to match the head and that just that's all the trick we need to do. Save that and print it. So, what do we need to, 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 to do? You need to animate this part and so the tail, ponytail part and the side tail part. That's all you need to animate. This part it doesn't need to be animated because it's, uh, it's supposed to know moving. Uh, in the real life, this is not moving much, but those two are moving. Those two parts are the one who's supposed to be moving too much. Uh, I mean, a lot. So, what do you need to do? You need to select the tail part and uh, the tail part. There. No, no, sorry. Okay, you need to save the third part, double click on it, and just enable the solver setting. Just enable the, the simulation. The Niaga needs to be set to boom spring. Just leave to default. And don't forget to check for the gravity. You need to put on the gravity minus 981. And activate it. And save it. Same thing for the side tail, double click the side tail, activate it, don't forget to check this, and the room must be set to springs, then save it, and close, so this is it, I think it's working well now, we can check if it's uh, moving according to supposed to, to do yes moving one well. and let's see for the side tail yes that is moving so let's see if we move the body yes we put it working up into the plane working well Okay, this is it for the, this tutorial, so I hope you like it.